hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. It is currently like 1130 or something like that. So it's almost the afternoon. But today is a really exciting video because I feel like there's so many of these videos, but which ones actually explain it the best? I'm going to be doing a cut crease tutorial for you guys. It's going to be very simple. It's not going to be something super dramatic. It's going to be just a simple cut crease tutorial because that's all life needs to be is simple. But there are different cut creases that you can do like this and this and this. But we're just going to do the most simplest one today because I don't want to scare y'all away and then y'all get discouraged and then you never want to wear makeup again because you're like, I can't do it. It's really simple. Just you need the right tools and the patience. The patience is the key. No one talks about the patience, but you need patience. So let's just get started and let's cut this crease. I'm going to start off by using my shadow armor patches. These are fallout patches for eyeshadow just in case your eyeshadow falls out all over your under eye and gets on your cheek. We want to avoid that mess, especially if you're going to put your foundation and everything on after you do your eyeshadow just because you don't want to do your foundation and then do your eyeshadow and then have fallout happen and then have to wipe that off and then redo it like, you don't have to go through all that make sure that you grab a pretty thick base or concealer to do this cut crease because if you want it pretty defined you want your base or concealer to be thick just so that you can create a defined line i'm using a flat tipped brush here e 123 from AOA Studio. It's some cheap brand that I saw at the mall, you know, selling a dollar brushes. They're, but they're pretty good, honestly. They work pretty good. You want a flat tipped brush because it's just easier to apply the concealer. I put a pretty good, a hefty amount on there. For this cut crease, I'm not putting any primer right here on the lid just because it would be kind of pointless and a waste of product to put product on the lid when we're just going to be wiping it off anyway to do our cut crease. So I pretty much only go for the, the crease area here to do the base. And now you can use your finger to kind of blot it onto your skin. We're going to take the Masquerade by Juvia's and take our AOA Studio E130 brush. This is a little fluffy blending brush for the crease. I'm just gonna be using this big old pink color right here just cause I'm wearing pink and why not? So let's go ahead and dive into that color here. It's called Bori. <laughs> Bori Dory Gory Nori Snorri Lori. Hey Lori, if your name's Lori. All you wanna do is take your brush in and out motions back and forth swiping from front to back on your crease okay now depending on how much you want to go out that's up to you i'm just gonna pretty much stop probably right here is is pretty good you want to make sure it's pretty blended so just keep doing those circular motions you know to get the achieved blended sensation that you want we about to cut a crease. I want you to just bring this down a little bit and create a shadow here. Bring this down and kind of make a triangle. Now you can shape this up with a makeup wipe or a Q-tip and just go along the edges here and shape it up. I kind of already did that beforehand, but <clears throat> just so it's nicer, cleaner, you know, all that good stuff. Now this next part is where we cut the crease. And I also find it funny because I was literally talking about the fallout patches and I wasn't wearing it and I just put it on and it's not even anyways I'm going to use my origins checks and balances milky oil cleanser and makeup melter to define my crease here with this q-tip you can do this with different things I've seen different ways to do this there's not really a correct way uh it's makeup you can really do whatever you want just as long as you achieve the same look. I've seen people do it with Vaseline. I've seen people just use a makeup wipe and then a Q-tip. It just really depends. I feel like this would be just an easier, easier option. I just start rubbing like this. Just getting that pink off. You just kind of want to clear the lid area. Now you can choose to go all the way. We're just gonna pretty much stop right here. 
Okay, so just make sure it's pretty cleaned up, okay? Before you add any more concealer or base. I'm going to take an angled brow brush for my crease to cut it because this is the easiest way to precisely get the line that you want. If you have hooded eyes, you can go a little bit above where it sits on your lid, if that makes any sense. Just kind of want to tap. Tapping is always best. You can swipe to draw your line, but then after, I recommend just kind of tapping it because tapping it into the skin is always better than swiping it. You can just work to really get that clean and precise right there, okay? I'm a perfectionist, so I will work at my eye for like 10 minutes. <laughs> if you wanna make your crease more defined, just go in with more base product and make it as thick as you, well, I wouldn't say as thick as you need it or want it because some of y'all might be like, <laughs> do enough thickness to show the uh, pigmentation of your crease color. I'm also gonna go in with a smaller bristled brush to lighten up right here in the crease just to make it a little bit darker. I'll show you that real line, that, that precise line. <laughs> Now we're ready for the lid finally. So I'm gonna go in with, this is Giza right here. This brighter white color. I feel like that will be a nice little, nice light lid touch here to our creation. You wanna make sure that you have a flat tipped shadow brush just because it's so much easier to pat the pigment onto your lid. And uh, this one is just the regular flat eyeshadow from e.l.f. brush. If you end up going over your line, your crease, your cut crease, don't fret, just, you know, buff it out, when in doubt, buff it out. Take that same like precise brush and just kind of go over the line here. Just keep perfecting it. And girl, if you're a perfectionist like me, you're gonna be going at it all day. But for the most part, here we are. This is the end of the tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other eye and show you the completed look. I'm also going to add some of the same lid color to the brow bone as well, just to add a little bit of highlight there. Okay guys, this is the finished look. This is my cut crease. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope it was educational. We can take this home with you now and do yourself a cut crease. Guys, please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you actually liked it. Also hit that subscribe button because it is free to subscribe and who doesn't like free things in this world? Because I know, I do. <laughs> Last thing, don't forget to turn on those post notifications because it lets you know every time I post and you don't miss a video. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay you, stay cute, and stay beautiful. We'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs>